You like that? Here, I'll throw it. You get it. Now you throw it. And you go get it. Go on. I'll do it for you. All right, so what are we doing? What are we doing? Eating brownies, that's what we're doing. Whew. Okay, so check it out. I wanna show you guys a neat little uh, trick here. So I've decided to uh, repurpose this Arduino board. So many of you, I'm sure, have destroyed your Arduino board. And actually, I uh, put power into the part where it says VN. I put a super cap across there to see if it would work. Yeah definitely destroyed the uh, microchip. So, this is a Mega 256. So the thing is, is what do you do with the Mega 256 if you've ruined it? Well, I actually burned up the 5 volt regulator on my 3D printer at one point in time by shorting it out. Oh, you want to do it again? Okay. Funny girl. So, I decided to um, rip that 5 volt regulator off here and I kept the board as you can see it says bad so I ripped that 5 volt regulator off here and I used it for my 3d printer and it hung around for a while and I still don't know what to do with it well eventually I started programming these nanos these are Arduino nanos and this is not a, a true Arduino this is a makeover but it was like a dollar fifty I bought about 10 or 15 of these like several years ago and I'm finally up to my last couple because I keep burning them up too accidentally hooking things up wrong or uh, some of them just didn't work right and I got to download the bootloader to them so uh, what do you do with one of these Arduinos well the first thing you got to do is you got to rip off the chip to make it useful all right so this is actually the Mega 256 are you back okay more are you ready there we go okay go get it Alright, so the first thing you gotta do is rip off the actual chip, which is what I did. This is the Arduino Omega 256. We can get it focused. There you go. So I've, I've ripped it off. I literally grabbed a screwdriver and I just ripped it off there. You can see half the leads broke off. Then I went through here with my knife and I just made sure all of these pins were actually not touching. I didn't want to desolder it because I figured all the solder would stick together. Now that you've got the chip removed, you've got yourself a programmer. You've got the USB, I think it's a DIFU uh, programmer chip. I might actually say it on there. So they're using a, a programmer to program this. So now all you have to do is connect the program pins, which used to go to the Arduino. Are you back? Okay, let me have it. Okay, you ready? Okay, go get it. Let Lily get it, right, Elijah. Get let Lily get it. So take those pins, and uh, basically you just run the RX and TX, which is pins one and two, over to your mini or any other Arduino. For that fact, it doesn't matter what it is. And then you have to run the reset, and you can also run power, which I currently don't have connected. Hey, are you ready to go again? Let Lily get it. Lily get this. Go Lily. Alright, so you hook up the pins um, and on the chip here you can see here I've left these off. This is reset, RxD, and TxD. Okay. So you set the TX0, which is the white one, over here to the TXD and the RX0 to the RXD and then the reset to the reset as you can see. Oh, you back? Okay, can I have that? Let me have it. 
<laughs> All right, well, you, you can have it. You can have it. Fine, fine. So you just... What? Let me have it. Here, I'm going to take it anyway. Give it to me. Ready? <gasps> Go. All right, so you take those pens like I just described them. I'll throw up a quick schematic. And uh, wire those up. And that's it. That's the program. So I actually have just a regular row boring pen connector that I just slip on here. If I can get it. There you go. Boop. Done. So this is actually a sneak peek of a project that I've been working on for a while. And uh, I'll show you what it is in one sec. But currently, okay, I've downloaded and programmed a quick little snippet. This is actually for... Uh, my upcoming uh, extruder filament. So I've got an array of switches here. I've got them wired up to the circuit board with the mini or nano. And uh, now I can go through the uh, the menu. All right, yeah, auto manual, manual speed set, P, I, and D, if you know what I'm doing. Yeah, so if we hit manual speed, you can go to there and you can set the manual speed. Um, I'm still working on the menu options. This is a test, but to show you that this works, okay, um, we're going to go over here and download my other version. So it's compiling the sketch. All right, and when it starts downloading now, you see these lights are flashing away. All right, and now the screen is clear. Now, what's the sneak peek all about? Ah, see, this is what the sneak peek is all about. Plug this in here. And boom, screen comes alive. All right, I'm sending data via serial port. So if I open up the serial port, I think I've got two things going on. Let's see, serial monitor. We'll just maximize it. And looky there, that is actually what's on my calipers right now. It's not on, but it's on, but it's not on, but it still works when it's not on. It's always putting out data. Wired up the data put a super cap in there for my battery and uh, also displaying on my screen and so when I move the caliper I also move my what's on my screen, I can go negative I can go positive and even when it's off it's still working, if I go really slow you'll see it moving without it coming on that's actually because the calipers are putting out data all the time no matter what so that's the sneak peek of what I've been working on but I wanted to show you guys a quick way to use an, a regular Arduino to program something such as a Nano that doesn't have a programmer on it Okay, um, it's really simple three wires As a matter of fact I don't even have power wired to this and it still transfers but you may need to connect your power which is right here but that seems to work without it. And uh, again, I am getting serial data. If I scroll in down here and I, if I move the caliper, the data moves with it. However, when you unplug the uh, pins here, which go to your programmer, and now this is an isolated standalone circuit board, obviously there's no more serial because that is your actual serial communications as well. So you can actually do this with any Arduino that you can pull the chip off of. If you can remove the chip on like a Uno, uh, or a, yeah, an Uno, you can pull the chip on there. You can actually use it as a programmer without worrying about it. So it's pretty cool. So I just wanted to show you a little snippet of what I've been working on, plus how to use a uh, Arduino, um, any type of Arduino to use it as a as a programmer. And if you'd like to know the settings, Lily, you're loud. If you'd like to know the settings. It's literally no different than the normal settings. So you just go in here and you select what board you want. And I've got it a Nano with a Mega 328. And you go to your serial port, which is the serial port of this guy. And that's it. Download it up. It's happy as can be and it's running serial. So if I wanted to switch it back. We are downloading. And reset. Now we're running the other program. Simple as that. So that's all I want to show you guys. Peace out. Say bye. Can you say bye?
What? Show me. Show me. What? Oh, you saying Lily's in trouble? Oh, yeah, she's hitting the glass and she's not supposed to, isn't that right? You know that. You're smart. High fives. Knuckles. Thumbs up. Headbutt. Oh, you're a rough one, kid. Thanks for playing catch with me. Silly girl. You're so funny. Alright. Peace out, guys. Have a good day.